Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Gabriel Turner Fan TV. Back at another video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content in this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Look, uh, Ravens versus Falcons game status, man. We're going to drop this video, get out of here. Got to run some last minute Christmas errands, so I ain't going to hold you guys too long. Um, so, look, man. Um, I usually give this game status to both teams, but the Falcons, they have nobody of consequences out. The only guy that they have out is a guy named is, uh, Chuma Idoga. He just an offensive tackle and only played like 6% of the stats for him this season. So, but yeah, that's what the Falcons have out. Now, as far as it, now let's go to the Ravens side of football, okay? Lamar Jackson has been ruled out for the third straight game. Um, that's what it is. He's ruled out. Calais Campbell has also been ruled out. And Marcus Peters has been ruled out. Now, uh, Marcus Peters is no surprise. Uh, it came out earlier this week. Ian Rappaport had reported that Marcus Peters would miss a a short amount of time. He didn't specify how how long a short amount of time is, but we knew that would be mean at least this game, right? Now, Calais Campbell, that one is going to hurt. Hopefully, he doesn't miss too much time. He's a valuable, valuable member of this team, especially when it comes to stopping the run, plugging up the middle, and also just for him personally, he's really close to getting a hundred sacks for his career. So you know, you want to? I want to see him hit that milestone for himself personally, obviously. All right, and then um. Lamar Jackson, man, listen, they, they said the PCL injury was a one to three week kind of injury. This is week three. So it's not like it's a big, big, huge surprise. Would we love to see him out there? Of course. But is it to rush him back? No. All right. So maybe we'll see Lamar Jackson next week. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. If we don't see him next week, then I'll be really concerned, right? Because like I said, the timeline was one to three weeks. So if I don't see him next week, now we got to have a discussion about what's going on as far as the rest of the season goes, right? I mean, we're pretty much at, we're at the tail end of the season right now anyway, but, you know, we'll have to talk about it for real. Now, the Ravens have one guy listed as questionable, and that's backup quarterback Tyler Huntley. But Harbaugh already said Tyler Huntley will be the starter this week. Uh, Huntley had his media availability today. He said that I'm good, I'm fine, nothing's wrong with the shoulder. Well, not that nothing is wrong, but, like, that he's good enough to play. You feel me? And sometimes you look at Huntley throws, it does look like... <laughs> Um, he's struggling with that shoulder, the way, the way he throws the football sometimes. I mean, even back in uh, training camp, he missed some time for, I think it was like a shoulder sprain or shoulder stiffness or shoulder tendonitis. They described it in a way that made it sound like this is going to be an ongoing issue throughout his career, possibly. So we'll see. I mean, maybe, you know, this when this offseason happens, he can get that right. But as of right now, that's probably something he's going to navigate and have to deal with, um, at least for the rest of this season. So... Hopefully, he can play pretty much, pretty well you know, versus the Falcons, so we'll see. Now, the Ravens have two players with no injury designation at all that popped up on the injury report, but they're fine. They're 100% they're going to go. They're on there for rest purposes. That's Jason Pierre-Paul, and that's Ronnie Stanley. Jason Pierre-Paul, even though he did practice Monday, he usually doesn't practice that much throughout the week. You know, he gets his rest in. He's a veteran. doesn't need to practice that much. And Ronnie Stanley, since he's been back, the Ravens have had him on that program of not really practicing too much. They don't want to put too much on his body, right? Which makes perfect sense. And he's good to go. Ronnie Stanley's going to be out there. So, as long as Ronnie Stanley's out there, the Ravens' chances of having an effective run game skyrocket. So, that's good news for the Ravens. Now, obviously, like I said, the biggest news is that Lamar Jackson is out. Um, now, as far as guys, uh, obviously, Devin Duvernay's on IR. So, now this, this receiver room that was already teetering is now full, in full-blown... Um, back in options kind of mode, you know. So I, I was I would assume we're gonna see Sammy Watkins jump right into the mix. Deshaun Jackson. Um yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, that's that's what kind of Washington Roman is looking like. I would love to see them give some shots to some guys, like I said before, Benjamin Victor, Shamar Bridges, um, Andy Isabella. At this point, if those guys can't be elevated, I don't even know why to have them on the practice squad. If this many injuries to wide receivers can't keep those guys elevated, then What's the point? Now, um, that's your injury report for, sorry, that's the game status for the Ravens Falcons. Like I said, the Falcons have nobody that's really, uh, that played for them that's going to be out. Um, so, you know, you're going to see all your, that top guys, Cordero Patterson, uh, you know, the rookie Desmond Ritter. You're going to see uh, Drake London, you know, all those kind of guys, AJ Terrell on defense, they're all going to be playing. So, um, the Falcons are going to have their full arsenal of players. And the Falcons, um, they're, fight, they're in a division that's not very good, so they're technically still fighting for, for a playoff berth, right? Even at 5-9, and nine, I think their record is. You know, the Bucks have fallen, kind of slipped and fallen off. So that division for them is still up for grabs. So this is not a game that the Ravens can just take easily and say the Falcons are going to roll over, okay? Um, they're going to need full effort out there. So uh, with Tyler Huntley at quarterback, I don't know where, where this game is going to go. It really could go either way. Uh, especially after the display that we saw the last couple of weeks. Um, 
really don't know how this game is going to go. But as far as the injury report goes, uh, we'll do it one more time. Out, Calais Campbell, Lamar Jackson, Marcus Peters. Questionable is Tyler Huntley, but Harbaugh and Huntley both said he's playing. So no, no need to even fret about that. Even though I would be interested to see Anthony Brown play, but you know, Ravens need to win this game to really pretty much clinch the playoff spot. So Huntley, go ahead and handle business like that. And uh, Ronnie Stanley, J uh, Jason Pierre-Paul, no injuries in the designation. They're going to be out there. They're going to play. All right. So that's pretty much your Ravens versus Falcons game status, man. Uh, I'll try to do a game preview today. You know, it's Christmas time, so things are a little hectic like that. And um, if I do it, you'll see. It. You guys will see the video tomorrow, man. It's your boy Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. Come on.